Dimension is a relative concept we use to understand reality. That is, one dimension is mutually exclusive to another dimension. I emphasize the word mutually exclusive. We can explain this concept using following Cartesian diagram. If position A moves to position B by changing x dimension from x1 to x2, the y dimension, which is y1, does not change. Therefore, x and y dimensions are mutually exclusive. For example, we can consider color and sound as mutually exclusive dimensions. Space can be understood using maximum of three dimensions. We can call them as length, width, and height. Please note the angle between each dimension is 90 degrees. Therefore, these dimensions are mutually exclusive to each other. I came across some interesting theories like string theory and M theory that attempted to extend space dimensions up to 10th or 11th. Their arguments like branching and folding dimensions to interface between so-called parallel worlds did not impress me. I find such arguments as dishonest, resulting those theories illusionary. Illusionary in the sense the results are based on false facts. The scope of such theories do not go beyond entertainment, the show business like magic. Time is any instant which I will describe later using a different model. We used a scale to reference and understand the linear occurrences of events. Wouldn't it be nice to have another scale to understand parallel occurrences? This linear time scale is designed using a device called the clock. This clock generates pulses, also called cycles, with equal wavelength. The pulses determine time units. A time system inherits following attributes. Greenwich time system example. Computer video system example. Human body system example. I recently saw a documentary about a professor of physics named Ronald Mallet who was planning to build a time machine using Einstein's theory of relativity. Yes, it is possible to travel back and forth in time. Okay. Think you're the man, baby. See how the doggy car travels to your future past and present, huh? Another example for time travel. Don't you call this time travel back and forth?
natural laws are beautiful phenomena and should not confuse with time travel. Are you still up? Your world may be parallel to mine. The basic dimensions of my world are mutually exclusive to each other. My mind learnt them and stored as memory. Instance of my world dimensions represented as an array. An instance of three dimensions of my world depicted using Cartesian coordinates. According to this model, time is any instance of my world. Therefore, I can time travel even using the memories of my mind. Thank you for watching. You're welcome to comment.